Hey, welcome everybody to this week's video. Um, what I want to do today is I want to share with you uh, some of our time in Key West. Um, so we started off at, by going to the southernmost point uh, in the country, and then we went over to the Ernest Hemingway House, and then uh, we spent a little time at Truman's Little White House. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. So right after we, we parked, we found a spot just a, a couple of blocks from the, the southernmost point uh, of the United States. And I had heard about the chickens all over the place. And I mean, they, they literally were right there when we parked. There were several of them right there. And as we walked around um, Key West, we, we saw several more. Uh, but I just wanted to take a little video uh, up front uh, of those. And then as we walked over to the southernmost uh, point, uh, the, the house we see here, that's actually was the southernmost house uh, in the uh, continental United States. Um, I actually don't think it is anymore. I think there's a house just south of that now. Um, but it, it was very cool. Uh, it did look like there were tours, uh, but we didn't do that. Uh, we just went on and did the... Uh, the touristy thing, got our pictures uh, by the, uh, the big uh, stone there that says 90 miles um, to Cuba. And then um, we started walking our way over towards uh, Ernest Hemingway's uh, house. Uh, and so we, I just shot a little video of some of the houses and some of the buildings that we saw along the way. And you know, it, it's true of a lot of places that I visited now, but the more I travel and the more places I see, the more I realize I really need to go back and spend more time in some of these places. We could have easily spent a couple of days uh, just exploring uh, not only just Key West, but a lot of the keys that, were, that we passed along the way on the way down there. So right away when we got to Ernest Hemingway's house, I, I found one of the, uh, the six-toed cats. Um, there are about 50 of them uh, here. Apparently, they're supposed to be good luck, um, so that's why he had so many. Um, so I went uh, and looked at uh, Ernest Hemingway's writing studio. Um, and even though I went, took some steps to get up there, originally, um, there were no steps here. Uh, this was actually connected directly with the second floor balcony. So Hemingway could come out of his bedroom, uh, go across the, the, a, a bridge of sorts, and go to his, uh, his writing studio. And then we just looked around the grounds a little bit. Um, I don't show the video here, but there is a, a cemetery for some of the cats that have passed over the years. Uh, there is a place for them to get away from people. Uh, you can imagine they get a lot of attention. Um, but it was very, very pretty, um, very nice uh, grounds. There were little ponds, there was little walkways. Uh, definitely you could tell it was a place you could get away from everybody and just relax. The house itself was very beautiful. 
Um, we went in, oh, uh, one more cat that we, we saw. And, and they were very comfortable. They just came and, and went in and out of buildings and they really have the, uh, the free roam of the whole place. Um, so we came in uh, to Hemingway's house. You can see some of the movie posters of the movies that have been made by his, uh, from his books. Uh, he had this very nice um, entertaining area um, with some of his pictures. And we just kind of looked around the house a little bit. Um, the kitchen. It was a really nice uh, dining area. Um, beautiful fireplace. He had some pictures of him, of course. And then we went upstairs and, and looked around a little bit. Uh, there's a few bedrooms and a bathroom up there. Um, and like I said, originally one of the, the balconies, the upper story balcony connected directly to the studio. Um, the studio originally was a horse carriage uh, barn and had been converted. I know I'm, I'm going through here fairly fast. There's, there's no way really to capture um, just how cool, elegant uh, the house is. Um, you really need to, to, to walk the floors to really appreciate it. Uh, I'm not doing it justice. And then one of the cool things outside was this swimming pool. Um, originally, they, they had priced the swimming pool at around $20,000 to have it done. And um, they weren't going to do it. Um, but you'll see that, that penny there in the ground. Um, one of his ex-wives, um, when he, she found out he was cheating, she put in the pond uh, or the uh, pool. and. It's, you know, that's kind of like took him for his last penny. Uh, then we went over to uh, Truman's little White House. Uh, it was very, very nice. Um, there's a, a little bit of a, a museum um, that we'll get to in a second. Um, we were very limited on where I, I could record. Um, little, Truman's little White House is actually still an active presidential retreat. Um, so presidents can still come here and get away from things. Uh, Truman himself came here, was it three or five times? But he was here several times. Um, only once did he take a ship uh, down. Uh, the one time he did, he got seasick and spent his whole time here sick. Um, so the rest of the time he, he flew down. Um, but they, they do... Uh, Truman's family was actually going to be uh, staying here uh, a couple of weeks after us. Um, president Carter was the last president to, to use this as a retreat, but it is an active retreat, um, presidential retreat. So we were pretty limited on being able to record in the, the house part.
there was a lot of cool presidential memorabilia. There was some things, uh, a lot of pictures, um, some artifacts from while he was president. Um, in the, uh, the family area, there was a, a poker table um, and a cigar air and whiskey area. It was kind of cool. And we just wandered around the outside a little bit. Um, it really is, is a beautiful place. So after we were done at Little White House, uh, we um, actually took a like a trolley bus uh, around uh, Key West um, just to kind of get a, a, a lay of the land, an overview. Um, so it was kind of an open trolley and we just kind of, I shot a little video as we drove around. It was also on this trolley ride that I shot those uh, pictures of the wild iguanas if, if you happen to see those. We really didn't spend a lot of time other than this uh, exploring the rest of Key West. Um, I guess we will have to do, go back and do that again. Uh, there was a lot of things to see and do there. After we were done touring uh, Key West, uh, it was time to get back on the road uh, towards Miami and the mainland. Uh, we took a little detour during the, um, there's a deer key uh, res res reserve there. Um, and so we went looking just to see if we could find one. And I caught this on my dash cam. Yeah, that is one of the endangered uh, key deer. It was very cool to see. Um, we did see one, I did see one other one um, along the side of the road, but it was not uh, in the camera. And then after that, it was time to get back on the road and head back towards Miami. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video or got something out of it, please like the video and share with your friends. And please subscribe by clicking the bell below. Remember, travel, explore, and live life to its fullest.